In this video, I'm going to be doing a quick and easy project, building a drip tray for my wine fridge. After shopping online and finding drip trays that were simply too big because they were meant for washing machines, I decided I might as well just build my own. So I went to the store, bought a piece of 3 quarter inch thick 2x2 two two project board and I got to work. First I cut all four sides to remove the excess wood and to clean up the edges. Next I cut all four sides again cutting off an inch and a quarter each time to use as border pieces. At this point I was left with a 19 and a half by 19 and a half inch board which is perfect because my fridge is about 18 and a half by by 19. My inch and a quarter wide pieces of board still need to be cut down to length, so I pulled out my miter saw and quickly knocked that out. To attach the border pieces to the board, I simply use wood glue and brad nails. After attaching the border pieces and wiping up the excess glue, I took it inside and primed and painted it. Since wood and water do not really mix well, I'm going to coat the inside of a tray using Flex Seal's liquid rubber. I have used some of Flex Seal's other products before, but this is my first time using their liquid rubber. Flex Seal sells this particular product in white, black, and clear. I wanted the black for obvious reasons, but ultimately I couldn't find it in stock at the store, so I settled on the clear coat. Now you can brush, roll, dip, or pour this product on. I chose to go with brushing it on because I figured it would give me the most amount of control over how much I apply and help create the least amount of mess. However, if I had to do this project again, I would try using the pour method instead. Using the brush method, the final result was kind of choppy and uneven. And because the liquid rubber is so thick and sticky, it was very hard to kind of move the material around and fix areas that were too light or too heavy on how much rubber was in that spot. I believe if I had used the pour method, I could have used a plastic putty knife to quickly spread the liquid rubber around and achieve a more level and even result across the entire board board and thus a better final product. My final step in this process is to attach some carpet pieces to the bottom side of the board. Currently, the fridge will be sitting on a carpeted area of the house, but if that carpet were ever removed, I don't want to move the fridge and have the drip tray scratch up the wood floor that would be underneath it at that point. So by attaching these carpet strips to the bottom side, I could slide around the whole drip tray and fridge together and I wouldn't risk scratching up the wood floor underneath. That's it for this video. Make sure to click the subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you next time on the DIY Grunt. Oh, look at that. It barely fits.